It's time! It's a heavyweight showdown between Bruce Lee and Darren Elkins. All right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So does in this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with some differences in height and a similar reach. We send it inside the octagon. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It's the first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of 27 wins, 9 losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting at a Portage, Indiana, USA, Darren the Damage Elkins. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting at Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it a fight. Ready. So here we go with round one, and on one side, clearly the more well-rounded fighter. Yet when we sat down with him on Thursday, first words out of his mouth, he ain't gonna submit me. I'm gonna try to take him down. Oh my goodness! Ah. And you laugh just like that because you know how much of a joke this is. You want to avoid the grappling with this guy at all costs. I know he has the body. I know he has a big ego, but it would benefit him to fight this fight and make it as easy as possible. Just a slip there. He is all about that left kick to the body. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. And some nice defensive work being put in by Darren Elkins. They're certainly getting after it early. Lands 
the right punch and follows it up with a nice left hand. Nice sequence there by Lee. All right, single collar timeout. Immediately gets the underhook. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight as he gets the tie clinch. This is a massive moment for this fighter. He is a great Muay Thai fighter. Look for him to go knee-knee and then try to land a big one to the head. Oh, nice punch there by Elkins. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, he got the ball in the target very quickly. And he landed a nice hook shot there, DC. He landed the hook exactly where he needed it to be and threw it with ill intent. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Sneaky head kick. Oh, collar tie. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body, and eventually him switch it up with a big knee to the head. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder rounds. Big kick land. Lee's overhand telegraph, though, it gets blocked. Head kick. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that one. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. And they separate. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. I mean, he's cutting him down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Wow, he lands another leg kick. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Nice strike. Right-left combo by Lee. All right, so both fighters now sort of struggling for position here in the clinch. When you find yourself in this situation, what do you do to get out of there? Anytime it's very tough. Anytime you're chest to chest and you have nowhere to go, I think to myself, underhook. Whoever's winning the underhook is winning the clinch battle. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Lee. Left hand punch from the clinch. Nice punch by Elkins. Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Elkins gets in the clinch. And they separate. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Got the single collar tie. Knee to the body now. That one appeared to be blocked, though, by Lee. Big knee lands to the body. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Ooh, what a punch. Looking to land the right just out of range. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. All right, round two is now upon us. Pretty competitive first five minutes, I thought. It's exactly what we expected. We expected that we saw it on the match sheet that these two guys were evenly matched. Let's see who really takes control as we go into the 
the second round. Oh, caught him with a head kick. That at least partially landed. Oh, my goodness. He got kicked in the head, and he's still standing. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick there, DC. Beautiful setup to get his leg up there quickly before his opponent could react. Nice punch, land. Oh, beautiful strike there as he lands up top, and he does so right after catching the leg. So maybe you thought he would catch the leg and go for a takedown. Instead, he goes for the punch, and he certainly found the range on that one. Nice hook there by Elvis. Wim mixed it up. Unbelievable elbow land. And able to avoid the punch there. Nice slip by Lee. Oh, that's a nice strike. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Whiffs on the elbow. Elkins' lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. goes attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh! Nice high kick. We go two minutes down here in the second round. Oh! Eats a knee. Lee's got the tie clinch. Let's see what he can do. looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. So fighter a little bit stunned, holding on to him now, not doing a ton, just looking to recover. Left hand punch in the clinch. And now he lands a combination. Big elbow there. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Oh, lands another punch there. Not a mean guy. He's just doing the smart thing. Oh, he man. has to be attacking that cut, John. I mean, if he's not, then he's doing his opponent a favor. Attack that cut. Make him pay for it. Elkins gets touched by that kick right to the body there. Nicely done by the opponent. Single collar tie now. Look at the whip action that comes from him pulling that kick. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Elkins gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Staying busy in the clinch to avoid a separation. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Oh, diving punch lands. Nice defense there. Huge block. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. minute. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. All right, DC, half guard position here. You've done a lot of good work in this spot in your career. Oh, man, I love this position. And you see this fighter today loves it, too. It is the most... Oh, yeah. Oh, he can... Wow! So there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. 
and it was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're trained to do, and it stays this close, you got to really switch it up. Wood Porter was able to relay that message to their fighter better. In it. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go take that finish down now. Striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Elkins. He changes the angle. Oh! Two's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, and that one snapped the head back. The referee has seen enough. Winner by TKO. He mercifully stopped the fight. A great stoppage and a great performance by this young man. Well, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. And give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. We set it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines going to stop with this contest at 1 minute, 21 seconds of round number 3. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon! So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.